Hi, I'm Flair, and today I'm going to show you how to make a lovely summer arrangement using shells to remind us of our holidays. I was in Spain last week, lying on the beach, thinking this time next week I'll be sharing the um, shell arrangement with yourselves. So, first of all, before we even touch any oasis, what I'm going to do is get some twine garden string and just cut a couple of lengths and get some shells so pick out some different sorts of shapes and sizes now some probably be a bit too heavy but that we can also wire with those as well so kind of pick the lighter weight ones for now and this is uh, our florist adhesive glue um, it's quite sticky but it, it works really well um, and dries within five sort of minutes. So just a little blob of glue on the shell and then holding your string down and a little bit more to just seal over. You might want to help each other with this because it's a little bit fiddly. And then I'm just going to do about three or four along my length of string and these are going to be the finishing touch to our arrangements. So just hold that into place. This is a gluing technique that we use. Um, not everything is wired these days. So for instance, if we're doing uh, wrist corsages or headdresses for weddings, um, instead of individually wiring all the flowers, we can actually just glue them straight onto a comb slide or an Alice band or a, an, um, a stretchy bracelet to wear for a wedding. So this glue is purposely used for fresh flowers and it sort of seals them so it doesn't do them any harm. And that way you can leave wedding work right up to the last minute because those flowers once they're cut they're not drinking so you want them especially with the summer weather we've had lately you want them to stay drinking as long as possible okay so i think i'll just do another set here um, my little one first and this is all going to be drying when we're putting the arrangement together. Seal over the top. Like so. Stay there, please. And then just one more here. Got a nice little groove there. And then just with a stem, hold it in place, push it down into the glue. Okay. You've got to be patient to do this, and I ain't got patience. give that a go. Put the top on the glue and just leave as I say them to set. Okay, got lots of shells. Right, we've got this lovely dimpled pot with a nice heart. That reminds me of like a seaside type of look. Um, I've pre-soaked your oasis. Now you're probably all used to seeing the green oasis. This is brown in colour because it's eco-friendly. So we're trying to convert ourselves to be, become more eco-friendly with all the products we use here. So we've gone away from tear ribbon, and we're using natural raffia, and this is biodegradable oasis. So you squeeze that into your pot till you know it's touched the bottom. Then you get your pot tape, and you're taking it over the top, 
and across like so and one the other way as well and you should have a little length four ways there you just want to come round the, the rim of your pot and that will secure the tape so it won't ping away okay so now I'll talk to you about the flowers we've chosen for today because it's a seaside theme we've gone for leather leaf to kind of disguise the oasis and cover all the mechanics of the tape we've got this foliage which is a smaller little leaf this is called pistache and that's pretty over the top as well we've got plenty of that we've got panicum which are like grasses that you can sort of imagine growing in a sandy dune and wafting in the sea breeze we've got an unusual variety of status which is like little clouds almost so I thought we'd keep that high and low in the arrangement as well a um, couple of my favorites alliums these come in so many varieties but I like these for height and you can imagine those swishing in the wind as well can't you lying back on a beach it's all a distant memory now Aringium, which is also called sea holly perfect for this type of arrangement I've got some short aster to just have a splash of colour through the base and one of my all time favourite foliages is asparagus fern. Earlier this year I was lucky enough to go over to Holland and I met the growers of this fern and it's just amazing what it, how it grows from nothing to this because we never see that side of it whereas um, we were, I was fortunate enough to go over and meet the family that grow this product uh, hopefully promote it with other florists here people think it's a thing of the past really where when you had a wedding you had it as a backing of the buttonhole years and years ago and then it's caused con out of fashion but this year's trends are real grasses and ferns and, and light feathered things pampas grass is a big one as well so I'm quite looking forward to using all these materials and then just for a little bit of scent, we thought we'd have some lavender as well. And John's brought us some gorgeous zinnias and cosmos, so I'm gonna put a couple of those in at the end. So first of all, I'm gonna cover up the oasis by using the leather leaf. And what we're doing is we're gonna create a skirt effect. Even these little bits, don't, don't get rid of them because they have their uses the little shorter bits can go along in the top to hide the top of your oasis so we're looking you want your lovely heart at the front and we're looking to cut sweep down and the strip away the higher foliage there and then any damaged ones just pop in the top but I don't want this piece coming so low whereas we don't see the halves because that's nice to keep in view. So we'll just lower that ever so slightly and then you can still see that design there. So now, even though this arrangement is going to be front facing, we make sure that the back whoops, is all covered as well. Because you never know, the person that receives this or when you get it home, you might put it on a shelf with a mirror at the back so you don't want to see anything um, that you wouldn't want to see showing like your oasis for example so we'll bring it back to the front and now we're going to start to build up a bit of height okay then we'll get the shorter chunkier bits of pistache this is a bit of a tough stem but it's nice to have different varieties of foliage it adds all interest when i'm doing weddings and, and big arrangements for churches and you're using lots of different varieties of foliages they sometimes look just look amazing before you even put a flower in there so if you get that many varieties you know different shades and textures foliages just make an arrangement and are as important as the flowers so I kind of like 
working bit of a triangle sort of a size here. I'm going to keep some foliage back in case I need to fill in at the end and I've just noticed a bit of a gap here where some tape needs hiding so I'm going to block that in there. Could I have some wires please? Thanks. Okay. And yeah, so you can still see the oasis, but you've got the basic thank you idea of shape. So the highest ones are going to be my allium because they're nice and tall. So take the smallest head first, and then the, the bigger head slightly a like step down. Measure them just roughly how big, how long you want them in your height. And then add another inch on because that inch has got to go into the oasis. Cut on a slant and it'll go in the oasis straight away, no problem. So there's my height on my design so far. I'm saving my grasses till a bit later and my fern. Then we'll come in with these beautiful cloud status well, that one's quite nice and heavy for in there um, make that into two as well this is just a guide for you um, when you do your arrangement it's nice to see people have their different ideas so you might not necessarily want your alliums to be the height in the arrangement you might want them to be more in the focal area that's fine there's no set rules we're not sitting an exam we're here for fun uh, i want you to make this arrangement yours and put your stamp on it so gorgeous little sea holly thistle and i'm going to come out with these because they're nice and long and leggy to bring some width to the design and then i'm going to keep some high as well to just take a step down from those alliums. Okay. So, oh, can I ask you a question? Of course you can. Do you know about cheap bars? Do you, do you necessarily have to get them in triangle or can you do? You can no. go all round. Yeah. Uh, you can. This is this is a front facing arrangement for the the style of flowers that I've I've picked. Right. But if you wanted to, you could go like all round or like a tighter fitted posy. Or you can come along and, and make like a, a nice width, long one for the table. If you've got a long dinner table and you come so high and then you could have your alliums and your longer pieces of flowers coming in there. So it's like a top table, but it's not taking up all that space on the table. Cool. Yeah. Uh, it's perfect for weddings, things like that. So Rev, this is just what I picked to do tonight, but basically have a go at making it'd be nice if you had a go at making a different shape so have a little think about how think about where you want to put your arrangements at home that's the best thing i always say to you where is this going to go on a mantelpiece is it going to go on a table a low coffee table on the side high think about where it's going the space you want it to fill and the look you want it to give when you get home and your battery's going to go my battery. <laughs> You'll have to wind <laughs> me up in the back. <laughs> Is that okay? We're on the back battery pack now. <laughs> so, just have to keep turning it because it's like I can't see from your view. Like having groups of things as well, like the art. Uh, arranging the heavy on the on that side whereas the slashes is heavier on that side uh, yeah and we'll have those there then um our lovely does anyone know what this is did you hear what i said this is aster september daisy michaelmas daisy this is just sort of peaking at its season now it's more uh, like a bit of an awesome flower common name for this is September flower um, because 
it's available in such I presume it was called that you can get a bigger heavier daisy as well um, but because it was all light and breezy flowers I was thinking of using tonight we've gone for the nice fine daisy here so I'm just bringing it through through there it's a very calming arrangement so if you're all stressed out <laughs> and you go home and you look at this you hopefully it will make you feel calm especially when it put the lavender in okay. so that's the main of the flowers used now I want to do uh, share some techniques with you once I put the lavender in and you best guess because it's quite fine this is dried lavender so get yourself a little neat bunch trim it on the sharp slant again and have this coming through the design so we'll have that there and <clears throat> you still use your shorter pieces as well coming throughout just having a little check on Michelle's situation there they seem to be drying okay. So I've got a couple here and some here. And the last bits I'll just gather up together and we'll have some short little bunches in there. So have you got it in your minds where you're going to put these when you get home? Have you thought of the places that you're going to put your arrangements in? Now, I'm going to keep the height on this lovely panicum so that if you open the door and the wind blows through it will just give it a bit of movement. The panicum is absolutely gorgeous but the leaf itself on the grasses goes a bit funny. So strip those off because they kind of spoil the look and then I think we'll go on this side to kind of lighten the heavy status colour and then with the asparagus I'm coming over like a bit of a waterfall. This technique is called veiling and it's just casting over but so you can still see through at the flowers. last bit of pistache to go in is basically I'm going to cut it up into small pieces and that's going to fill any gaps we've got. So I think we're not too bad at the front, it's more at the back that I need that work. Okay. And now for my shells. Now the heavier ones, a bit fiddly, but we will help you get some wire and come if you've got like a nice little sort of ledges where you can get that wire in turn it around and twist as tight as you can and then that's on a nice little pick so we can pop that one in there and we can see the, the nice shape of that one in there. I'm just getting a nice couple of heads of cosmos and we'll have two zinnias. And this is going to add a lovely explosion injection of colour. So we'll have on there. So pretty. And I'm going to keep my cosmos tall because that's going to waft in the wind. Doesn't it? The romance in the room, I can feel it. <laughs> okay, we'll wire. I'll wire another shell for you. This is best coming long ways, so and we'll take it underneath and tight as we can. It is tricky. This. 
Okay. So we've, we've got a nice little group of shells, a nice little group of zinnias, cosmos. It's all in little groups. The friends with their friends. And then the shells on the string can just be tied around. I'm going to anchor this one around. And I'm not too worried about seeing the string because you could sort of imagine that that's part of a fishing net. Uh, so it's all the beach theme. And just drape it and have them coming through and sitting on the flowers even. I'll just take it around this way. So when you go on your holidays and you collect shells and you think, what am I going to do with the shells? This is one of the ideas you could have a go at doing. You could have a go at gluing them to jam jars, um, make some nice summer flower arrangements in jam jars with your shells. If you're having a little garden party, that would be a nice idea. And then we've got the smaller one, because you should have your smaller things at the tip of your arrangement because in nature when you think I'll, I'll get that one now when you look at a branch naturally it starts as a bud and get as it goes down the arm it's a heavier flower at the bottom so it's like a your bud to your bloom okay are you going to stay where you are? yes okay okay so that is my seaside arrangement and now it's over to you to do your seaside arrangements okay yeah.